This video is just a quick tip about knowing what UVs you're working on and why you actually want to make sure that you have it selected when you're working on that part of the model. What I have here is a separate mesh for the body and another one for the head, as you can see here. When you have a particular layer selected and its UV map, it's also selected here among the UV list, then you'll notice how bright that UV is. If I were to select the body, now you can see how dark that is compared to the brightness when I have the head layer selected. That's an indication to me that I have the right layer selected and the right UV map selected to work in this particular area. If I want to work on the body, whether retopo or UV mapping, I want to make sure I have not only the body layer selected, but also the body UV map. You see how that's highlighted. Now, I'll show why that's important. If I were to take the Delete Polygons tool, for example, and let's say I wanted to resume doing some retopo work in this area, watch what happens. And you're thinking, what is going on? Why is it doing that? Well, the reason is you're attaching these polygons to the body layer and 3D Coat is telling you, hey, you know, there is something wrong here. So that's a red flag to let you know that you're not on the right layer. If I were to select the head layer, I could fill those holes and it would be attached to the head mesh layer. But as you can see, it's still assigning the new polygons to the body UV map. I'll undo a few times. Now, let me select the head layer. Once more, the bright highlighted mesh tells the user they have both the correct mesh layer and UV map selected to work in this region. Now when we fill those holes, it looks properly done. So keep that in mind. Whenever you are doing topology work and also working with UVs in 3D Coat, make sure that the area you're working on is highlighted. All right. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.